me Yang Fan. I'm a senior engineer at a um, machine learning platform at Cruise. Today, I'd like to tell you some work we have done last year on how did, we, how did the platform team build the machine learning uh, training infra at Cruise. So we, Cruise is a San Francisco-based company. We are building the world's most advanced self-driving ride-sharing technology operable on San Francisco street. If you visit San Francisco city, you may have a chance to see our orange test cars running on the streets. In order to operate a uh, uh, driverless ride-sharing service in San Francisco, our cars have to handle many complex situations. Every day, our test vehicles run through many busy streets and interact with a double, car, double park cars, cyclists, delivery trucks, emergency vehicles, pedestrians, and even with their pets. So we see many interesting things on streets all over the city. Our cars are designed to handle most of those situations on its own. So on the car, there are multiple cameras, lidars, weather sensors, detecting the surroundings environment, and they make decisions at the same time. Many on-car tasks are mission critical and driven by machine learning models. This, those machine learning models are trained by a lot of data ingested from raw data. Our training data format is very complex and high dimensional. So we have two work streams in the model, uh, model development. One is to continuously retrain the using the uh, new parameters and data. The other is to develop the experiment and uh, the new models. So on the right side, the chart shows the number of uh, model training jobs uh, each by each week. As you can see, the number of training jobs varies week to week. At the meantime, we want to train machine models fast but not too costly. As a platform, uh, we want to fulfill requirements for both our machine engineers and also for the company. On the engineer size, uh, engineers want to, have, uh, want to train models at any time. The tools and supported frameworks are flexible without too much uh, constraints. Our machine engineers want to see jobs start as soon as they submit the tra training jobs, while they are able to see the results as early as possible. More importantly, they, they want to have extremely natural and easy experience using our platform. On the company side, we need to make sure that we spend every penny wisely. It means we need to run our model training jobs efficiently. More importantly, we need to allow our engineers to focus on building the mission-critical uh, mission softwares to impact the on-car performance. So in order to fulfill those requirements, we decided to build our model training infra on top of a Google's cloud AI platform. The AI platform offers a fully managed training service through command line tools and uh, web APIs. So we could launch our jobs on either single machine or as many, uh, as many machines as our code allows. For, uh, therefore, we can let our machine engineers to scale up the training jobs if they want to. AI platform also provides a very customizable hardware. We could launch our training jobs on combination of different GPU, CPU, and the memory requirements, as long as they are compatible with each other. The AI platform training service also provides good connectivity to other Google services, for example, like storage service and BigQuery. In order to train model on multiple machines efficiently, we also need a good distributed training strategy. We decided to use Harvard. Harvard is a distributed training framework open sourced by Uber. With a few lines changed in our model training code, we can scale up our training jobs beyond the single machine limit. So far, we have tested the training model using uh, from 16 GPUs to 256 GPUs. While we scale up the training cluster, we notice the efficiency decrease. That is mostly because of the communication overhead. When, those, when there are more GPUs, the more communication between GPUs there are. To find the most efficient setup for the training job, at least two factors need to be considered. One is the hourly uh, unit cost, the other is the total training time. On the chart the, on the right side, it demonstrates one training job example. So if we are training on one million images at one image per second per GPU using NVIDIA V100 
And the machine type is the high map instance used uh, uh, with 64 cores. As you could imagine, using more GPU could reduce the total training time. However, too many GPUs would also mean reduced uh, parallelism efficiency. So the blue line on the chart becomes uh, the flat from left to right when the number of GPUs increases. While more GPU can save the training time, the overall cost uh, is increasing. So the right line is showing the total cost going up from left to right on the chart. For this particular job, we found that using between 40 to 50 GPUs could be most cost effective. We decided to build an ultimate system to provide the best practice uh, to our users. This is the high-level architecture diagram of our distributed training system. Users uh, interact with the command line tool. The command line tool will package the code and dependencies uh, with parameters into a training job, then submit the job to our governance service. Uh, service. The service examines the job parameters to prevent uh, any accidental misconfigured parameters. For example, if it is using too many GPUs or too much memories. At the same time, the service will translate the computer requirements into actual machine type on the AI platform. So users don't need to memorize all the different types on the document, neither the cost uh, model themselves. All our training jobs are registered into a linear tracking system where we can keep the reference to the job source code and its parameters. When we want to analyze the model performance, we can trace back to the job information as the, as, uh, if that's needed. The training input and output are stored in Google Cloud, uh, so the Cloud Storage Service, that's GCS for short. GCS uh, provides the cost-efficient uh, storage and the high throughput for our model training jobs. When the jobs start to produce some uh, metrics and results, users can view them through a hosted the Tensor service. While the job is running, our monitoring service uh, constantly pulls the job metrics through AI platform APIs and feeds them into Datadog. So far, we care about the GPU and the CPU rotation and the job duration. When the GPU rotation is too low, it could mean the job gets stuck and doesn't need to, uh, that much uh, resource. Then we could notify the jobs. Uh, we could notify the users to inspect the job or adjust the machine setup to save some cost. Our internal framework is the bridge between the training service, the training system, and our users. It provides a boilerplate and high sum interactions from the, uh, with the training uh, backend, so users can can focus on writing uh, model code. You also could turn on the distributed training strategy by changing one line in the configuration. As I mentioned in the previous slide, the CRO tool automatically packages the code and submits a training job. The framework lets the user specify the parallelism by number of GPUs. Then our training framework will help the backend to figure out the actual machine setup. The framework also uh, provides the interface for governance and monitoring services. This slide demonstrates the user how, to, how they, do they turn on the hard about GPU training uh, in the config. Our framework will automatically wrap the optimizer into Harvard's digital optimizer. The framework will also change some other place in the model, uh, in the model behavior. One important change in the model training job is how to start the process. Harvard uses NPI run or Harvard run as the main process. It sends the command to other workers in the cluster. So in order to use Harvard in the AI platform, we wrote a bootstrap cloud, uh, strap, a script to and use it on the master. From the master, the bootstrap uh, script will send commands on each worker to fetch the CPU, uh, GPU configuration. Use this information to, uh, and then use this information to set up MPI parameters. One of the commands we use uh, to fetch the GPU information on the workers is the uh, report GPU. Because we have uh, NVIDIA GPUs on the workers, so we could use NVIDIA's driver uh, CI to fetch GPU list. However, different uh, NVIDIA driver version would place the command line binary at a different location. We have to find the binary before we can execute it. Once we have a GPU list, we use a script to parse the command output and then use that in the NPI command. Different from a regular TensorFlow training job, we don't want to pause the training process for periodically uh, evaluation. That's because we have to keep all the workers running at the same pace. 
If one worker pause for evaluation, the other worker will have to wait for it. Then the entire job would fail because of communication, over, uh, communication timeout. We decided to move evaluation jobs onto the master so all workers can train model at full speed. The evaluation process on the master monitors the checkpoints in the GCS. Each new checkpoint will trigger a new evaluation process until the training process completes and the last chip, uh, checkpoint is evaluated. Last feature we provide in the framework is the error handling due to the system errors. This is the one example of a run, very long running job. This job runs for more than 24 hours. At the middle, there was a network event disturbing the training job. One of the workers shut down due to the too many uh, errors. Because all workers have to be synchronized, shutting down one worker would have failed the entire job. Our framework detected the error and waited for the worker to come back then automatically restart the job using restored parameters from the last two written checkpoints. So the job can continue and eventually complete it without any human rescue. This year, we started exploring TensorFlow 2. One of the uh, attractive features in TensorFlow 2 is a natively supported tens uh, distributed training strategy. The multi-worker mirror strategy would provide a, a better experience. It supports two uh, collective ops, uh, either the ring RVDUs through gRPC or NCCL, uh, NVIDIA's collective communication library. NCCL has many cool features. For example, it has improved efficiency at the even larger scale than before. The cluster could include tens of thousands of GPUs. It also improve, uh, improved the uh, topology detection. It could either create a ring or tree depending on the CPU, uh, CPU interconnections. Google AI platform is going to support uh, 2.0, uh, 2.x uh, distributed uh, strategy out of the box. So user no longer need to write the bootstrap uh, script themselves. So if you, be, if you are building a uh, model training infra for your team, I have four takeaways for you. Firstly, try not to invent the wheel, reinvent the wheel. There are many solutions available on the market and reach out to them. I believe they are willing to solve the problem for you. We received, received a significant amount of support from AI platform team. The collaboration between us led the crews focus on building the best self-driving technology. Meanwhile, AI platform team uh, could build the best machine learning service by learning the customer needs from us. Secondly, be aware of cost. One of our respons uh, responsibility is to help company operate sustainable. Although model training can be very expensive, there are many ways to save the cost. The infra team not only need to provide the hardware and the software solution, but also the best practice on improving the efficiency. Thirdly, rely on the community. I'd like to thank Uber for open sourcing the Harvard framework. Also, TensorFlow team on answering the fixing bugs on delivering and delivering new features. I also want to thank many excellent open source projects and communities. We learned many good things from them. Also, we are looking for opportunities uh, to contribute back. The last but not least is the developer experience. As an infra team at Cruise, we serve our internal customers, machine learning engineers. They are already facing many challenges day to day. To use our platform shouldn't be another one. If our tools and service could help our, service, uh, our customers spin the wheel smoother and a little faster each time, eventually running a flying wheel will be effortless. So once again, we are Cruise. We are building the world's most advanced self-driving technology in San Francisco. If you're interested in us, please check out our website, getcruise.com, and please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you for listening. <music>